Hello boys and girls, my name is Chessie Kay and I'm here to tell you how to prepare my favourite meal, just in case you ever need to know. This video presentation is brought to you by the Doxy Massager, a mains operated wand massager made in the UK. This Doxy is mine, I like pink. For my first course, I'd like French onion soup. So, start with making some croutons. Drizzle some olive oil over crushed garlic over some bread on a baking tray. And using your hands, mix it up so the bread is covered with the oil. Then, pop into a hot oven for 25 minutes. Okay, time to get on with the soup. Get some oil and butter into a big saucepan. And when it's really hot, add loads of thinly sliced onions, a couple of cloves of garlic, and a tiny bit of sugar. Keep turning them over until the onions start to darken. This will take about six minutes. Now turn the heat right down and leave for half an hour when they should be lovely and caramelised. And now add a couple of pipes of beef stock, maybe a third of a bottle of white wine, some salt and pepper, stir it all up and simmer for an hour. And you're done! Chessie's French onion soup. Just ladle it into a bowl. Add the croutons and maybe a grating of cheese. Yummy! And on to my main course. Chicken Thai curry. Slice up onions and shallots and throw them into a large, very hot wok. Stir fry them in the hot oil for a few minutes. Add your curry paste. I like it quite spicy. So put in a good couple of heaped tablespoons of that. Stir fry for another couple of minutes and add the sliced chicken. Keep stirring until all the chicken is coated and then add sliced lemongrass, a glug of fish sauce, a teaspoon of sugar and if you've got them some kaffir lime leaves. Finally pour in a can of coconut milk, bring them to the boil then reduce to a simmer for 15 minutes until the chicken is cooked. Stirring occasionally. Sprinkle on some fresh coriander and serve with lovely fluffy jasmine rice. You're watching me, Chessie Kay, teaching you how to cook the perfect free course meal. Brought to you by the Doxy Massager. And now, time for my favourite dessert. Sticky toffee pudding. This takes a little work, but I'm worth it. <laughs> Chop up a load of dates, pretty small, and then soak them in just boiled water for half an hour. Then mash them up with a fork and stir in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. While the dates are soaking, you can make the pudding mixture, which is 175 grams of self-raising flour and a teaspoon of bicarb plus two beaten eggs. Mix it up with 85 grams of softened butter and 140 grams of sugar. 
be in a couple of tablespoons of black treacle. Fold in half a couple of milk. Fold in half a cup of milk. A little at a time. And finally mix those dates. Spoon the mixture into a butter tin and bake in a preheated oven for 25 minutes until it firms up. Right. Don't forget the all-important sauce. Sauce is easy. Loads of sugar, butter and cream in a saucepan over medium heat and just keep stirring until all the sugar is dissolved. Beat in a little cream and you're ready for action. <laughs> Is that the pudding with lashings of the sauce? And that is how to make my favourite meal. And now, if you've done a good job, we might be friends. This video was brought to you by the Doxy Massager. Bye.